Okay, I think we're ready to get this thing going. There's uh, one thing I noticed we overlooked though is uh, some numbers also needs the thread number passed to it. So when we say start on an individual consuming thread, we need to pass i there as well for the for the uh, consuming consuming thread ID, if you would. Um, it's our own ID. It's not the managed thread ID. Mm -hmm. And I also want to use that thread number in our logging as well. So consuming thread uh, number plus thread number plus adding them to some for some. Okay, so let me bring that down. That's formatting code like this kind of difficult. All right, so now each consuming thread is going to report its thread number and then what number it's summing and that kind of thing. Let's uh, control F5, see what happens here. Oh, we get an error straight off the bat. What is going on here? Producing thread, adding 7 to the queue. Consuming thread number 2, adding 7 to its total, sum, making 7 for the thread total. Unhandled exception. A valid operation. Queue empty. Ooh. Where's that coming from? You know, what's, what's, what's the problem here? Obviously, it's... Uh, queue empty is is reported by the queue when we try to dequeue a queue that's empty. So let's uh, let's add some exception handling here. See if we can figure out exactly what's going on. Where's my consuming? Yep, some some numbers. Here's the dequeue. So let's do the try. I, I don't know which thread the problem's on, so I'm gonna throw a try here, and let's do a catch uh, exception. Well, let's just do a catch. I'm going to catch it temporarily. I'm going to rethrow it just to make the program bomb. But in the meantime, I want to say uh, that this thread is having an issue. So, thread having an issue. Uh, but we need an ID. Thread number plus, uh, what did I call that? Thread number. Okay, plus thread number having an issue. Okay, let's run it again. Control. What's the problem? Bill there, num to sum. Oh yeah, I need to declare this outside. I bet you guys noticed that while I was typing that I need to put that out there. Okay. Num to sum. Alright. Control F5. Boom, same problem. Let's see if we can figure out what's going in here. Oh, threads one's having an issue. Thread zero both of them had issues. Look at that. Then unhandled exception. Oh, and then the producing thread was having a heyday there too. Notice our program immediately bombed. Um, instead, our process crashed. Basically, in uh, old school, like version 1.0 of the .NET framework, whenever there was an exception in a non-main thread, if the exception wasn't handled, the thread would die, but the the process would keep going. And in version two, they decided that was poor, um, undesirable, unpredictable behavior to just have these threads die. Uh, in the middle of nowhere and not really report that. So in version 2 they actually made it so if one thread has an unhandled exception the entire process goes down. That actually bit me while I was doing some early threaded programming in my early days but anyway there's a if you go into the configuration file for your application you can tweak that to go to the old behavior but I strongly suggest not doing that. Anyway I just wanted to point that out. Look at this! Thread number 1 having an issue, thread number 0 having an issue. Why are they having an issue? Why are they having an issue? We have here, if numbers.count is not zero, I'm checking this. I'm saying, hey, if there's a number, dequeue it. Right? And obviously these threads, they tried to dequeue, but it looks like, you know, what's interesting about this, what's interesting about this is consuming thread number two, grab the nine. So look at this, producing thread, added the nine, consuming thread, grab the nine, so that means that the 9 is gone, there's nothing left on the queue, so why did thread 1 and thread 0, why did they get into this DQ area? We have this check here. If numbers.count is not 0, they should have seen that number 2 pulled this 9 off and that they couldn't DQ, but instead of doing that, they, they somehow got in here and, and blew up, all right? And so this is where a lot of new programmers throw their hands up in the air and give up. I hope you're a little tougher than that and can really dig into this and see exactly what's going on. What, what exists... Actually, I'd pause the I'd pause the video right here and see if you can figure out what, what what is the problem, what's going on. In fact, I'm so strong on the fact that you should pause the video here and think about it. I'm going to stop the video here and force you to go to the next video in order to see what the 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 problem is and then how to how we correct that. But before you just jump into that video, really sit down and think and see if you can work through your head, maybe on paper, type this code up yourself. Put it into Visual Studio, play with it. See if you can figure out exactly why we're getting these exceptions and why are are these threads trying to DQ uh, when I had a check here and said, hey, if the counts, 
If the count's not zero, then well, if the count is zero, they shouldn't be in here. How did they get in here anyway?